Hello, my name is Anthony Dawson and I'm an engineer in Anthos Technical Services. I am going to be demonstrating the use of uh, ACT, the Application Customization Toolkit, for the purpose of uh, developing extensions. I will be uh, using ANSYS 14.5 for this and will uh, take you through basically using the uh, Iron Python uh, functionality within Workbench Mechanical and then uh, the anatomy of an extension itself to get started on how to uh, put one together um, from the basics uh, all the way through trying to complete uh, complete your extension. I'll, I'll run through kind of the gist of things and uh, you know give you kind of a road map of how everything works. To start though I'd like to go show you the uh, the source for all things ACT and the best place to go which is on the ANSYS customer portal here. So if you go to support.ansys.com and log in uh, you can go and access uh, pretty much anything you'd need under downloads and then extension library. Uh, within the extension library you'd go to the section on ACT for the ACT library. It's here that you get uh, a big list of everything, uh, of all the extensions that we have available right now to people um, that have been developed so far. And also all this text up here uh, tells you essentially everything you need to know to get started from the, the, training, the training module to the uh, you know, documentation for ACT, e everything like that is contained on this page. It's really a great source for anybody who's, uh, who is getting started. 